Well, welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. It's going to be a short trip, this one. It's going to be a half day, sort of morning to, well, morning, 10 till 11 till 2 or 3, something like that. Just going out on Mark's boat out of Cornwall Sherry on the Lady Patricia. He's got two boats. And I've got a rod and reel. It's a bit different. I might be talking through that at the time. The weather is idyllic. This is sort of coming into early winter, back end of autumn, early winter. An unprecedented high pressure systems come in, which give flat sea conditions, which allows the likes of myself to get out on the boat and not be pitching my breakfast over the side. One hopes. We're going to be going out. As you can see there, good size one. So not only are we going out with Mark as a skipper, his good lady wife Trisha, a fine high cuisine cook, is coming on. If we do do a bit of fishing and we get a pollock or a ling, she's going to hopefully do us a catch and cook, give you some tips on the best way to cook these fish. But first, we've got to catch either a pollock or a ling. So the mark here is what sort of depth from that lot? Yeah, well, the top of that reef is about 39 metres, but it goes way, way down to 48, 49. So we'll anchor on the top and drift her back a bit, and then we'll get a bit of pollock on the top, and then we'll drift, drift back with the tide, and we should get a uh, skate, a few lane congo and stuff. And that's going to mix ground then further down. Well, it didn't take long. For Mark to get latched into a pollock, this was just on a drift where he's trying to set up and see which way the boat's going to go in relation to that bit of rough ground and reef down below. Obviously, you'd expect Mark to catch fish. He lives there. He got them on first name terms. This one is target species achieved. A nice ling. You don't want the huge ling. Well, we do as anglers, obviously we do. But for eating, and bear in mind this is a catch and cook, this is what you want to see, a nice size ling. Then Trish is on a fish. You see we're not that far from the shore, but beautiful flat day. Ideal for getting out and doing a catch and cook aboard a boat. Look at it. And yeah, that is what you call a nice eating ling off the reef. If you went wreck fishing with Mark, and he does do wreck fishing trips, 
you will catch bigger ling. So Mark now is going to put down the anchor. Obviously, if we're picking ling up on the drift, there's a good chance we might get something else on the anchor. And with the tide, away we go with the anchor. The tide should give us a chance, maybe, listen, for me, the outside chance of a giant common skate, which is what Mark specialises in. Well, he catches pretty much everything, sharks, you name it. And there, once we anchor up, Trish with a really nice pollock, she's going to have a go at that filleting that later on as well. I just have to my knee, it's done. No, that's much better now, isn't it? It's the right height now for you, isn't it? What do you reckon? That'd be the size you'd uh, cook a home, would it be, Trish? Yeah. This is the perfect size in my opinion. That would be what, a, a, a four person, two people? Because I know Mark, Mark and you eat a lot of fish, where, what would you say that would feed four people, four meals? Or? Yeah, you get four. You look, isn't that lovely? Nice sweet, flaky meat. Yeah. This way now you'll have no bone in it. So the bigger fish you get here on a wreck, not so good? No. No, they're tough. And the skin is very tough. Everything is very tough about them. I just don't like them. Yeah. Okay, just pull the skin back and Rather, rather than cut the knife, you yeah. put in the skin. Yeah. See? I'm assuming that's going to work. Oh, that is a very nice fillet. You're going to split that in two for the frying pan? Yeah. Or three or? Two. Huh? That's good. That's good. It's delicious. We just look, fillet in the fish here. <laughs> Mark, Mark, we're finishing the fish and Mark, Mark decided it wasn't big enough. So his rod nearly went over the side. That's a nice pallet now. Do you have that off the deck or something there, Mark? Was he on the bottom? I had it about, about two metres off the bottom. You know? Actually, it's a nice, decent enough old pallet. Small bit of sliver on the, um, on the black jelly worm. Sliver of uh, mackerel and a sliver of um, squid. The fishing family at work, this is. Mark's Ma got Trish on a production line of fish. Just she, enough, we get the chance to get out. Her next job's going to be relax. Union Hall for you, Trish. Never mind about the B&B, you'll be down Union Hall. I actually wouldn't mind it, I quite like the job. You like that, do you? Yeah. yeah. I talked to Stephen Hurley and uh, Glenn Marfish. You might give a job for the winter, Trish. Nice yeah, that's a good one. Oh. You see how he carefully draped it? <laughs> All over his shoes and trousers. He's nearly as big as my one. Trisha, I think he's a bit a bit bigger he's than yours. Bigger, yeah. You're gonna need a bigger knife. <laughs> we don't lose any flesh and we have no bone on it. Just saying. <laughs> it's come off it's come off well that one, yeah. Yeah. Because like if you were working in a fish shop now, like a lot of the fish is very expensive. You can't be wasting it. Yeah, but if you look like it's for shoulders and all that, you know. Well, yeah, yeah but that's lovely now. Even if I do say so myself. You still skin them now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Pollock, yeah. Most yeah. definitely. Well, the fishing's relatively slow at the moment. It might be the st stage of the tide. I think I might have another bull hus on here. I don't think it's a dogfish. 
This one's a nice size bull hus. Yeah. As strong as you like. As you can see there he's got that. Half a mackerel. Well done. Oh, it's a bull hus. I'm getting worried about you for a spell. It's actually not your. Being quiet, yeah. She's so peaceful, isn't it? So tell us, talk us what you're doing there, Trish. This is Bit really, of flour. This is really basic now. The secret to cooking fish, in my opinion, is to have the fish very dry and have the oil in the pan smoking. <laughs> We're on a boat, Trish. <laughs> we don't want to smoke. I know, but if you want so fish. That's if you want the fish to cook fast, is that is that what you, does it seal it or what? It seals it and it cooks quickly and it ends up being really, really nice. So just plain flour or seasoned? Seasoned flour. We're now down in the ga in the galley. I can't even see how the smoking it is. Do you ever breadcrumb them, uh, Patricia? Do you ever use breadcrumbs no, at all? No, no. Just flour? Just flour. So you're going to talk us through this piece of ling, because I know you like ling. What would you put with that vegetable-wise? What would you? I put creamed potatoes. They go very well. And I peas. Garden peas. Just regular, that's it. Yeah. That's it. yeah. No sauces? No, no fish, no, fish no. sauces? No. You know, into the sauces, yeah. I think sauces are good for food that's not great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You think they lose the taste of the fish? Yeah. The fish itself? It's a different, it's a different thing, yeah. It's like that, you say about curries, like you have curry sauce to camouflage for meat. Yeah, so that's what the curry's for, I understand. Yeah. No, really, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's sizzling away now. there. But like when well, you have something as fresh as, as fresh as that, that ling now, I mean... Half an hour old, an hour old, yeah. So you gave that barely, what, two minutes? Yeah, that'll take another few minutes, right? But that's absolutely beautiful. That's, 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 what, that's what you want now. That's beautiful. And that'll be so tasty, so subtle now, it'll be divine. Do you ever batter fish? You know, like you can make beer batters and stuff like that. Do you ever do that? Very rarely. Rarely. So you, yeah. you, what you're trying to tell people is keep it as basic as it's possible. Simple, yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a beautiful product, so why yeah. spoil it with something? That's that's just my opinion. Oh yeah, and mushy peas do do go into it. <laughs> just cooking away there very nicely now. And, you know, just know people know how much oil roughly, I know not, you don't measure by the teaspoon, but it's not, I can see it's not swimming in oil. No, no, it's not, no. Just barely cover the bottom of the pan. It's a man up here, he's come for a takeaway order. <laughs> <laughs> it's, hot it's, hot, it's hot enough, he's come for his, his a takeaway order this one. <laughs> yeah, I can hear that, he's hot, isn't it? I can hear yeah. that, it's hot. Yeah. What about that pollock you filleted? Would you do it exactly the same way? Yeah, I did exactly the same way. Season flour. Yeah. Okay. And different veg, same way. Yeah, like you get the proper taste of the fish. Yeah. When you don't smother it in, in sauces, all and sauces, sauces, yeah. sauces and stuff. Like, I want to taste the fish. I don't want to taste the sauce. <laughs> right, the sauce yeah. The, the fish is fresh, so why why would you camouflage the yeah. good quality ingredient? No, I think this is cooked perfection. You think it's done, yeah? Yeah. If you say that with steaks as well, because it's have it really hot. To sear the meat, so it's, yeah. I've heard that with steak, the best steak is when it's in a hot pan, it's you know. It's pan, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's two minutes each side or less. No, very good. There you can see it outside now. Should I say to Grievous that I only have a plastic fork? I'm sure it won't alter the taste of the fish, though, will it? Yeah.
So there you go, guys. Perfect. And Ling, in your opinion, the best eating fish. It's lovely, meaty fish, yeah. yeah. Now, mm. taste the dirt, Graham. It's lovely. There it is, guys. Very nice. Put it there, you can see it. Yeah. It's hot. Beautiful. Super. So flaky, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Now you know what Ling tastes like. I'm going to take, take my common skate bait off <laughs> and put, put some smaller hooks on. <laughs> yeah, just flaky fish. Yeah. Really yeah. nice flaky fish, guys. Yeah. So there you go. Take Trish's recipe there, as simple as you want, and just Keep it enjoy. Simple, that's what I say. <laughs> See those lovely flakes opening up there, look. Lovely. And in the usual standard of hygiene, the last thing I touched was some old mackerel <laughs> and dogfish. A couple of spuds as well. Yeah.